There's the magnetic pole. And how many miles away I think it is? It's 650 kilometers from the geographic pole that you have to go there, which is quite something. And you don't go straight there. You stop. I don't know if anyone's have heard of this place. But you stop at a place called Ice Station Barneo, which is a complete village, as you can see, built on the Arctic Ocean by the Russians every single year. It's only there for four or five weeks until the snow melts, because you know our little flag, the reason they don't have a pole there is within three or four weeks of us being there, it, that becomes the sea. So there's this incredible village, you can see, called Barneo, where you can have hot meals 24 hours a day, hot coffee 24 hours a day, they've got endless helicopters. They actually drop down machinery, make runways, and they have all those huge planes landing there. It is the most incredible complex. And when you're there, fascinating people. There's scientists there, there's, again, a lot of, um, not just Americans, but tourists who want to say, I ski to the geographic pole, and people, hunters, and people like us who are, who are doing our expeditions. Most incredible place that I've ever been to. And there's me in front of the, the, the Barneo Ice. And we were there for a few hours before setting off in this very old helicopter. And where's David? Is he there? Oh, he's got his back to us, Hem Mr. Hempel and Adams. So we had the helicopter that was going to drop us off. Where's the next one? It was going to drop us off where we wanted to be. But what was quite frightening in this helicopter is that when we looked down, there was open water, great shades of open water, half a mile wide. I mean, any thought that it may or may not be global warming was completely taken because there was a lot of open water. Mm -hmm.